Do you have K-6 to math topics that you find particularly difficult and challenging and that you wish you had resources to help teach them? G'day, I'm Dr. Peter Price of Professor Pete's Classroom. Welcome to the vlog. This is episode number three. I thought this week I'd report on the early results from the survey that I mentioned in the previous episode um, that I recently sent out to our mailing list. And I asked teachers two main questions. Number one, what is the topic that you wish you had more support for and you find the most challenging? And secondly, if resources were available to support you in that teaching, what would you most like to see um, contained within that? So I'm hoping that this short little video will just uh, let you see what other teachers are concerned about. Maybe it will um, strike a chord with you. Maybe it's something that you also find challenging. Um, and I just want to be transparent with teachers in our list, including you, who uh, have uh, contributed to the survey and uh, may be interested in knowing what the results were. So I'm going to email all the respondents separately so I can give you a more detailed report. It won't be every last little detail, but again, I think you may like to know the results and I want to acknowledge you and thank you for the support. So I'm looking at the results on my iPhone. I'll just show you the first one, which is um, a table showing the topics. Now you won't be able to read the words on there, of course, but you'll see one of those is um, higher than the others. And that one represents the most challenging topic. You may be interested to know that it was place value. So I, I love that because place value is something that I did my postgrad study on. I had some year threes and I asked some questions about learning the hundreds place. And so um, I feel I know um, a little bit about the topic and I do have some ideas and I've thought long and hard about how to make it interesting and how to really get at the, the, the core of what it is that children need to know as they learn place value. So um, I'm working on ideas right now to put together a, we're going to make a trial product and we'll invite a, a few people who are particularly active on our lists uh, if they'd like to trial it. There'll be no pressure and no cost. Um, give them a chance to play around with it and give some feedback and say what they think of all the different components and so on. So I'm uh, really looking forward to that. There were 401 responses. So um, if you are one who responded to this survey, let me say thank you very sincerely. Um, it means a lot to me to have so many teachers. I mean, there was, as I said to my wife, there was really nothing in it for you except out of the goodness of your heart telling us what you think and um, hopefully down the track there'll be um, a resource package that will um, be what you're looking for and that, that of course is the goal for us in asking these questions. What can we help you with and um, you know, how can we best support you in your teaching? So um, I thought 401 responses was really good. Let me find these results again. They seem to have disappeared. Okay, so the top topic was place value. The second uh, most popular topic, if you like, was operations, all four operations. And the third was number fact. So really the core of the K-6 curriculum, I think you'll agree. And all the fun ones that I thought may rise to the top, it's a good thing I asked the question, because I would have gone with uh, geometry or money or, to or time or measurement or something like that. But um, it's clear that the core topics are the ones causing the most uh, difficulty. So it's good to know that. Now the second question was, if it was available, what would you like to see included in a resource? Here's the graph. This time, obviously, the graph won't mean a lot without the words attached. So let me tell you what they were. By far the most requested component is hands-on activities. And second top, just so I can give you a complete result of the top ones. Uh, second top was differentiation activities. So activities to help cater for students at different levels. Basically that confirms what people told me in the earlier survey earlier this year, that the biggest challenge they had was catering for different levels of ability. And I remember as a beginning teacher, I was shocked at how, how diverse their abilities were and how much hard work there was in trying to help the kids at the bottom and help the kids at the top and, and the ones in the middle. So I've, with my wife, we've been thinking about ways that we can help teachers with that. 
um, and that was uh, part of the reasoning behind this survey. And after differentiation, uh, there was pre-tests and post-tests. And if you look at that graph, there's basically everything's got somebody. The, the smallest one at the end was other, so people had other suggestions and so on. But basically everything that I suggested teachers wanted. With uh, perhaps the exception of I'd love to hear from you what you think about this and might explain to me why it was it came out so low. And that was homework sheets and information for parents. I thought that was a good idea. Uh, but apparently teachers didn't agree with me. So maybe it's just something you don't use. Maybe you don't use much homework. Um, resources. Maybe you're already nailing homework and you don't need any more support with it. Um, as I say, I'd love to know if you'd like to drop me a line. Um, below the video, of course, there's a space for comments. So if you wanted to let me know with that. So those are the early results. Um, I hope you found it interesting to know what other teachers were looking for. Um, again, if you'd like to give me some more feedback, I'd love to hear from you. So there's plenty of room below the video to leave a comment. Um, if you'd like to sign up for free resources on our website, which is profpeat.com, we have samples that we'll send out to you so you can see what our members have access to. Uh, there's a form, I'll put a, a link to the form or the form itself below this video. So all we need is your email address and we can send you details of how to get access to that. It's really easy and quick and of course it's totally free. You can also subscribe to these videos so that we can let you know when new videos come out or YouTube will send you a notification. Either way just use the link on the screen or below the screen as always. If you like the video give me a thumbs up that'd be great um, and let other people know about this channel. That's it for this week. I look forward to talking to you next week um, but that's all for now.